world. Powerful prophet drops strong prophecy about Unam de Kanu's continued detention. See shocking thing he said. What? Powerful prophet drops strong prophecy about Unam de Kanu's continued detention. See shocking thing he said. My dear listeners, a powerful prophet has dropped a strong prophecy about the continuation of Unam de Kanu in detention. Who is the powerful prophet we're talking about? Stay tuned as I read today's news. The leader of the INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elijah Ayodele, has offered advice to Lunam de Kanu. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, urging him to appeal to the Nigerian government for his release. Primate Ayodele cautioned that if Kanu refused to plead for his freedom, he would perish while in custody. Primate ideally shared this counsel during, during the launch of his 30th warning to the nations at his church in Lagos on Saturday. It should be noted that Unam Dekanu is presently being held by the Department of State Services, DSS, under the orders of the Nigerian government. This development comes at a time when governors and senators from the Southeast region have agreed to meet with President Bola Ahmed Tinubu in order to find a political resolution to Kanu's ongoing detention. Kanu has been in custody since his, his re arrest in Kenya and subsequent extradition to Nigeria in June 2021. Despite being granted bail by the court, the Nigerian government has refused to release him. Furthermore, Primate Ayodele also made a revelation that Nigerian would eventually disintegrate and he emphasized that neither Kanu nor Sunday Ibo, an advocate for the Yoruba nation would be held responsible for it. He predicted that the breakup of Nigeria would occur without bloodshed and that it would commence from the northern part of the country. According to Primate Ayodele, Kanu should humble himself and implore the government for his release because he lacks the capacity to spearhead the agitation. He firmly believed that Nigerians' dissolution was inevitable and that no amount of prayer and fasting could prevent it. As the spirit of the nation's founding fathers, such as Tafawa Balewa, was discontented. He asserted that the breakup would occur naturally and without violence.
In summary, Primate Elijah Ayodele, the leader of the INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church, has advised Unamde Kano to seek the Nigerian government intervention to secure his freedom, cautioning that failure to do so may lead to his demise while in detention. Additionally, Primate Ayodele predicted that Nigeria would eventually disintegrate with the breakup, starting from the northern region and occurring without violence. He stressed that neither Kano nor Sunday Bill would be held accountable for the country's division. The leader of the INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elijah Yodele, has offered advice to Lunam Dikanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra Lipob, urging him to appeal to the Nigerian government for his release. Primate Elijah Yodele cautioned, if Kanu refused to plead for his freedom, he would perish while in custody. Primate Ayodele shared this counsel during the launch of his 38th warning to the nations at his church in Lagos on Saturday. It should be noted that Unam Dekanu is presently being held by the Department of State Services DSS under the orders of the Nigerian government. This development comes at a time when governors and senators from the southeast region have agreed to meet with the President Bola Ahmed Tinobu in order to find a political resolution to Kano's ongoing detention.